Hello ladies, gentlemen and everything in between and welcome to Armour 3, slightly different one. This is um, a scenario known as Bob's Armour, it basically has all of the vehicles and the weapons in it that you can get. The reason I'm doing this is because I noticed in the last one they call them uh, the Scorcher a tank and I want to show you what a Scorcher actually is in the context of this game they have over here the virtual armor box which has all the stuff in it so you can go into your weapons uh, rifles and come down here and you can pick basically any weapon you want including the ones that are from um, Apex I this is an Apex one this is one that I loaded up earlier this has a um, 6.5mm Essentially a, um, a long-range weapon. It's a, a mixture of the uh, MX 5.5mm, but also has a um, squad weapon. So it has a 100-round magazine, so a lot more spreads of fire, but also reasonable uh, longer-range um, efficiency. But the Scorcher is over somewhere in the 500 region, uh, over in the uh, east region, I think it is, in this map. East? No, no, it's to the south. This was, I keep saying there's a sports car that goes like 200 kilometers. This is it. If I get onto the runway, I can show you what I mean. Oh, now I remember there's a wall over here that will absolutely shred your tires. There it is, that little wall, wall will completely destroy you. So, this car goes very fast. So up to 300? Yeah, made 300. Does not like to turn going at that speed. As map also has a couple of drones on it. These are Greyhawks. And a random A-10 wipeout. So I'm going to leave that alone. There is new drones added in with the Apex stuff, but I don't know where they are on this map anyway. They may well be flying around, but the Scorcher is just over here. There we go. This is the Scorcher on our right here, this thing. This was that big howitzer looking deal that we were looking at. The way this works, again, it's a gunner, is the gunner doesn't actually control the gun itself. See, I can look up and down, it doesn't actually move the gun. To move the gun, that you need to move page up and page down. You just move the ele elevation uh, and the turning with us. To aim, this is the important part, to aim, you need to use the artillery computer and this shows the range at which you can fire. So I'm going to put it there. Okay, it's going to take 46 seconds to get there. I can put this out to extreme and put it, it's going to take ooh, almost three minutes to get out there. Put it there, can't fire. Too close, basically. Uh, so that's the minimum. So I can't fire in here, can fire out of here. That's basically the what that says that was extreme this is the outside oh this is the small one so it can't fire anywhere inside that so if we set it to medium can we shoot there no, two guys uh that one set that to there fire off single one and then you can watch it going across and you have all these different types all the way up to um mine clusters and just normal mine clusters which you can just shoot over at the base Watch it go over here. But, yeah. yeah. Uh, from here, we can then. Jim and came in. Okay. Pilot. Now, uh, weird thing about armors, flight models, I found is the fastest way to take off is to when you go to take off, tilt back a little bit. I may well be the same in real life. I haven't exactly had a chance to fly a helicopter. We tilt back and it drags it off the ground a bit, so you can take off before you really meant to, like while the engine's still spalling up. And you're good as soon as I could turn over. <laughs> it did not. Yeah, it may have been a bit, bit quick on that one. You can just restart the map. Easy as that. You can host this with your friends if you want to some reason. I'm not entirely sure why you would, but you can. Low is pretty really quick. There is a low FPS in this, but it is having to control all of these AI right next to you and deal with all these cars. 
So there is kind of fair enough reason for it to be slightly low FPS. But if you if you wander out a bit, it does come back up. In fact, if we go over here, there's yeah, two jets over here. We can jump into, and I can show you just how big this map actually is. The altered map, if you've never seen it, like distance-wise. Pretty sure these are the um, not the CSAP but AAF vehicles. So these are like the um, the green backs, as they were called at the beginning of the game, which would make sense because they have sort of smaller things. Look at this double-barreled machine, uh, machine guns underneath. So engine on. What's your freedom? Uh, would it be better to go through from here? Uh, we're gonna go to the left. Just using E and Q to rotate this. Tank, 800 meters, northeast. Let's get our flaps down all the way. There you go. And that should help with taking off. Uh, take off. I've really buggered up that take off line. Oh, we may be alright. Oh, just. Let's get the gear up. The flats will help us continually take off. What is this? 20mm cannons on the front, and it's also got a couple, yeah, couple of rockets, couple of anti airs, and a bomb. A couple of bombs. So if we from here fly, let's fly over to this part, it's over there. Alright, so now that we're basically over the shore here, it's very hard to fly this in third person. Now we're over the shore, we're basically going to head straight east over the island, just to see how quickly we can get over. So basically shore to shore over Stratos. Across, yes, not quite the widest part, the widest part would be from here. Up to there, but it's pretty damn quickly. I need to go save a bit more. There we are. You put it there. So that's 20 k's away. So the island's about 20 k's across, and about 20 k's up. So it's about 20 k squared. That was <laughs> 10 meters above the ground. Uh, where are we? I can see it. Can't be quite there yet. No, we're not. A little salt lake here, by the looks of it. Yeah. So that took about five minutes to get across, something like that. Probably less, maybe at 600. Ooh, slow turn. Go up a little bit. Nice. We'll just head back to base. Now, if you don't know much about flying, the reason you put your flaps down when you're coming into land and take off is flaps provide higher lift at lower speed. So when you're coming into land, you're not going to think you're going to be going as fast as you normally would. It's pressing the wrong button to come in for a landing there. Pressing control instead of Z. I, I have I have the flight controls on Armor 2 Classic, but they're not quite the same. I don't remember shift being go faster. I could look that up, like load up armor too, but uh, sounds like effort. No, ooh, shite! <laughs> that was very close. Get out of this! Get out of this! Cannot fly in third person. So as we're slowing down, we're gonna sort of be maintaining the same sort of amount of lift, even as we go slower and slower. I don't want to be on this roadway, do I? Do I? Where are those ghost hawks? There they are. Not wicked. We're okay. I could have sworn with Z, uh, Q to go faster and Z to slow down, but for this it's shift to go faster, but um, uh, and Z to go slow down, so 
they've kind of changed it a little bit, but it's a little bit enough to throw me off. Ooh, <laughs> I froze on the machine gun. We got a couple little birds, this is an unarmed transport one, and this one's just got slab of metal chucked over the back seats <laughs> so you can put rocket launchers and two miniguns on the back. I mean, 7.62 miniguns. Find out. Yes, 7.62. Two times of them. I believe the, um, there was an Armour 2 mod, uh, Exile, not Exile, Epoch, that you could get this sort of configuration about the rockets on it. Yeah, if you if you kneel it back when you're taking off, you can get up quite quickly. This minigun just shreds through the ground. Looks impressive as hell to watch someone come through with it. And it's also got the um, direct air rounds. I mean, that's what they're called. Basically, um, just strafing missiles. Hi, lads. Bye, lads. <laughs> That's all of them gone. We have, we have over here a um. Oh shit! No. Go kart range. Not with that. It's I die. There's a go kart range over there. You'll have to believe me on this one. 